up YouTube back with another video today I am going to show you guys how to make the most toxic overpowered build in MBA 2k20 this build will make kids rage quit make sure you guys hit that like subscribe and comment button because we've been growing rapidly and I post daily 2k content now let's get right into the video of course you guys know this build is gonna be overpowered so you guys may think you might make this build a center because centers are toxic but no you're gonna make it a power forward because Power forwards, they have better speed, and they have the same strength. So, for the skill breakdown, this took me a while. You could do the all blue, you could do shooting if you want, defensive and shooting, yellow green, yellow red. But, of course, if you want to make it toxic, you're going to want blue green, defending, and finishing. That is always the most toxic. You don't have any shooting at all. You're not even going to have any shooting badges. For physical profile, you're going to want to go strength to body people. 95 overall strength. And that will help a lot. So, now we are in the attributes. Of course, there are some simple attributes you need. Close shot. And now I'm going to put driving layup and driving dunk. I'm just going to keep out for right now. But I'll put them up later. I'm going to put up standing dunk and post hook and then finally I'm gonna put up my driving dunk until I get to 22 badges each yes 22 so I got 74 in my driving layup I now dropped it down to 73 and I have 85 on my driving dunk so the only thing I upgraded for my shooting was my mid-range and my post fade and for playmaking, I upgraded my pass accuracy and my post moves. With those extra badges I didn't use from finishing, I put on my playmaking. So now I have 10 playmaking badges. So, of course, for defense, I've been put on block, defensive rebounds, lateral quickness, interior defense. And this is all I need. 14 defensive badges, 10 playmaking, 1 shooting, and 22 finishing. That's amazing. So for the body type, you're going to want to make it burry because you look like the Hulk when you do that. And you're going to want to make your height around 6'10 to 7 foot. I made it 6'10, I think, 6'11. For a weight, you're going to make it 255 pounds. The reason why you don't want to make it more is because your vertical goes down and less because your strength goes down. So for the wingspan, you're going to want to make it maximum. And for a takeover, I chose post score. It doesn't really matter. Look at my dude. He looks like, whoa, the Hulk. He looks like Thanos. He's huge. He can body anyone. Think about this. Any 1v1 game, any 1v1 court game, oh, he's winning 21-0. He's huge. And yes, of course, it comes down to an interior force. This builds like Amari Stoudemire. John Collins and Anthony Davis. It's an amazing build if you want to be toxic. Make sure you guys hit that like, subscribe, and comment on this video. But for all the people who watch my videos and actually watch them, I always go into the badges you guys should use. So, you have 22 finishing. That's the most you have. Honestly, I don't really know. I put it on contact finisher, fancy footwork. And then I did a couple of center badges just for the fun of it. So contact finisher, fancy footwork, and then I think I'm going to do back down punisher just for the fun of it. And I'm going to do cross key score. I'm also going to do relentless finisher and giant slayer on silver. I don't really need giant slayer, but it helps. I shipped in drop stepper. I'm going to put deep hooks. On bronze and showtime on bronze this is what I should have done but I don't know this is what I would do but take off giant slayer and put down drop stepper 
if you want to have a really good build for center. But basically, I'm just going to be showing you guys another combo you can do. You can put Showtime at Hall of Fame, and then you can put Deep Hooks at Silver. That's another combo you can do. So now let's get into shooting one quick draw only. You could do Deep Fades if you want. So for playmaking, you can actually do, there's five, ten, there's 11 badges. So you could probably do every single one on bronze except for one. But no, you're going to want post spin technician on gold. Quick first step on gold, dream shake on gold. And me, I chose unpluckable on bronze. Yes, I could have chose something else, but I didn't. So, now we're going to our final badge category. That is the defensive badges. Of course, you're going to want clamps on and intimidator. Two badges you always need. Because they help a lot. Well, clamps don't help that much anymore. Rebound chaser on, and I put rim protector on. Um, these are batches centers should always use. And I think I'm going to put on um, pogo stick. Or you can take down pogo stick. And you can put it on post move lockdown. It really doesn't matter. Brick wall maybe. I would probably choose brick wall now that I think of it. Yeah, I'm going to choose brick wall. Just, I'm just trying out different combos because you can use a lot of combos. Moving truck, defensive leader, pogo stick, tireless defender, but I'm going to put it like this. So, now, let's get into the most boring thing, the jump shot. What are you guys thinking? This boat doesn't need a jump shot. Only once out of legend it does. For a center jump shot, just use D-Wade. doesn't really matter. Thank you guys so much for watching. This was a really toxic video. And... Make sure you guys have really fun using this build. Make sure you guys hit that like, subscribe, and comment button. And G-Money23 is out. Peace.